Hey guys, what's going on? It is your boy Ocentra here with a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are doing well, having a great day. If you are, great! Uh, so today it's a little bit different as you can tell. Got the screen screen, all this dope lighting. I kind of just been chilling here for the past couple of days, not really knowing what to uh, make a video about ever since I unboxed all those boxes. There's there's really nothing to really make a video about. I tried doing car videos, but um, that hasn't technically worked out yet in my favor. I'm still working on that. Give me a couple more days and you guys can start having car videos. School's been around in session. Work's been going on. I get home late. It's hitting the books and uh, studying and homework and all that stuff. Matter of fact, I still have some stuff to do today. But I'm kind of just sitting here thinking like, my G Fuel package doesn't arrive until Wednesday. I'm waiting on for something to do. You know what do I do so might as well make a G Fuel video of the G Fuel that I have right so let's make a G Fuel video today all right so away from the setup for a second because obviously you gotta grab something let's see let's just take this all off this bag so I got a bag right here and it's got some G Fuel stuff in here if not a lot actually okay well Okay, so what was in that bag? The Bay's Tico Shaker Cup and Pineapple Mystery Flavor Lemonade and Pink Lemonade. Okay, and then do I want any of this now? I don't I don't know if I want any of this right now. Well, let's go see what we have here. So take you guys away from the setup. Welcome to my house, by the way. If you've never seen a video of me making videos in my house. This is the first video you're seeing. Welcome to my house. Um, not much to really see, but yeah. Let's see, I got Phase Berry. Oh, Cherry Limeade, and literally maybe one serving left of Tropical Rain. That's why I bought more. And then plenty of shaker cups in there, so. Um, the question is, is what do I wanted to do? I'm kind of feeling Cherry Limeade. But today, I actually just now remember, we're not going to be using the shaker cup because I wanted to point something out to you guys. When, for the people who watch my channel and drink G Fuel or any sort of other uh, form of energy formula where it comes in a powder and um, you have to um, either one, shake it to get the powder to dissolve or two, stir it. Uh, for those of you that do drink it, what do you prefer? Do you prefer a, a, a stir? Or do you prefer a shake? What do you think does a better job? I personally think that ever since that I've tried it, stirring actually does a lot better of a job. I'm just gonna clean this mason jar here real quick. That way I can use it. By the way guys, mason jars, I don't know why, but they're not even really a thing right now, but I don't know what it is, but I personally think drinking any sort of drink out of a glass um, is like its best. Like, if you ever drink something out, like out of a plastic, like it may actually taste different than if that had if you had that same drink in like a glassware or in styrofoam uh, or anything like that. So, I personally think the best way to have a drink is with a glass. So, let's get this guy cleaned on up. All right, nice and clean. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get our G Fuel Cherry Lime. Highly recommend this flavor, guys, by the way. Uh, inspired by uh, Faye Sensor, the man himself. You know, I heard Cherry Limeade, and I'm a big um, fan of uh, the Cherry Limeades at Sonic out here in Texas. Um, so I actually may make a little bit more. Okay, so technically you're not supposed to fill it up that high. You guys see where it's at? Kind of point to it. Technically you're supposed to fill it here, but I have it a little bit halfway there. I'm just going to add a little bit more because we'll probably have a little bit more water. But I do still measure accurately, and I'll show you guys how to do that. All right. And then, of course, it's already starting to kind of get a little crushed up like that because there's a... It's still damp at the bottom. Let's go ahead and get some cubes. That's about good enough. Half, half cube. 
And then what we do is we literally just, we'll take a shaker cup that's got the amount of water that you need, whatever, and I take it and I just, I'll pour it in here, so. Let's go ahead and get this water real quick. This water comes out really slow. Any day now. I guess good water takes time, so that's why it comes out slow. All right, that's what I normally fill it about too. Um, so, all right, so go ahead and pour it in here. All right, cool. So we got that there. You can literally just shake that out, put it back up in here. It's not gonna harm it, it's water. Um, turn the light off, not trying to waste electricity here. We are balling on a budget. And then uh, of course use a spoon to go ahead and stir it up. And I would normally stir about to 20 seconds or so. So maybe 20 seconds in one direction, 20 seconds in the other direction. Supersonic speed, oh, so on, 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 on. I'm just kidding. Cool. So, I mean, yeah, like, looks like a pretty nice color. It's kind of pinkish, dark pinkish. Um, you can kind of, I don't know if the camera will be able to pick this up, but it doesn't look like it. Oh, you could kind of, if you look down here, you can see a color transition, or not a color transition, but that powder is still kind of moving around. All that condensation that's already happened to the glass, because if it's cold. But it's kind of like a, a raspberry color, I would say. Um, if you never tried cherry and limeade, uh, cheers, by the way. It's good. It's really good. Like I said, I really enjoy... Um, cherry limeade from Sonic so to have a energy formula of that same form of drink um, you know it's like getting two wins you're having your favorite drink but you're also getting energy out of it so that's another W um, but yeah gotta love the studio by the way still not done yet unfortunately but like see that work so like with this professional lighting it looks a little bit probably a little bit more pinkish at the top and then darker at the bottom of course but no, yeah, it looks great. <sighs> Tastes really good too, but I kind of guess like the purpose of this video was to see like, I wanted to know your guys' opinions. What do you prefer more? Do you like your G Fuel when you stir it? Or do you like it more when you shake it up in the shaker cup? Uh, for me, like in the mornings when I'm fixing to go to school or whatever, I of course use a shaker cup and I shake it, but on the days that I don't have to go to school or I don't have to go to work in the morning, um, I'll stir it because I just, I think personally, I don't know if it's like a, a whole mind trick or anything, but I personally think that it tastes better stirred. My opinion, if you guys drink G Fuel, if you guys are a big fan of G Fuel, uh, let me know in the comment section below, uh, you know, let me know. I'd like to stir it or you like to shake it, you know what I mean? I got my windscreen the other day, as you can see on this guy, so... I can just pop them right off, but yeah, we got a, uh, a vocal beat. I never actually did the unboxing of this. I completely forgot to. Um, it came in a day that I had to work, and I just wanted to pop it on to see what it looked like, and I just ripped that bag open. So uh, pretty cool though. I haven't made a video with it on yet. I don't think. Oh, we're watching someone live stream right now. Well, let's go look at my channel on my YouTube. See how we're doing as the community continues to slowly grow and grow. All right, so I mean, we're looking at 134 subscribers. That's not too bad. Um, I did lose two of you guys um, for some reason. I did lose two subscribers. So to those two people, I'm sorry I couldn't keep you entertained uh, as much as it is um, 
my ultimate goal. Just surpassed 18,000 views. Uh, and those thousand, from 17 to 18, that went pretty fast too. Just in a matter of like a week or so. Um, so, you know, round of applause to you guys for making that happen. Um, yeah, even looking at my statistics and overview, the watch time has gone up, the average view duration has gone up, the amount of views I'm getting has gone up, the revenue has gone down a little bit, but I'm not worried about that because I haven't, I, I don't get paid by YouTube until I hit like a hundred dollar threshold and you don't even get paid by YouTube, you get paid by AdSense, but it's all ran through Google, so let's just say you get paid by Google. But no, like your threshold's like every hundred dollars and if you make a lot more than that, on YouTube then you can actually change that threshold to see how many transactions go through and X amount of dollars when that threshold is hit but no I only I, I I'm not gonna discuss what I make on YouTube because um, you're not supposed to but I mean I can tell you guys I definitely have not made a hundred dollars on YouTube um, although that would be pretty cool to eventually you know hit that mark one day um, I guess that's definitely kind of like a goal is to see when I um, you know, one hit the 1,000 subscriber mark. Still a long way there. Um, I created this channel December 16th of 2014. Didn't start doing anything until like the beginning of 2016. So I had my channel, um, but didn't use it for video uploading purposes until 2016. Um, and as of right now, I apparently have 91 videos on my channel. So that's quite a bit of videos. Um, a lot of them are kind of just uh, videos that people probably wouldn't watch, but um, me personally, I just, I made it for me, so. Put that guy back on. He looks good. I like it. Um, I still kind of want to test it to see how it sounds um, compared to using, you can kind of see it, the pop filter. Um, what I may end up doing is using both to my advantage and have the pop filter and then the windscreen. So we'll see what happens, but yeah, I mean, it's not too much. Um, to the 134 of you guys who are subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, and of course, for those of you who, you know, watch every single video on my channel, you're always, you know, much appreciated as well. Um, I definitely had a lot of fun on these last two ASMR videos. Um, it was definitely a different experience for sure. Um, and it was fun. Uh, I didn't really get any sort of uh, a comment, you know, oddly pleasing is what one person said. You know, that that's a good thing, you know. I appreciate you saying that, but um, that was on that one. I don't even think I got any comments on this one. Oh, I did. Great video. Keep it up. All right, yeah. And nothing but likes. No dislikes on the video, so that's a good thing. That's one thing I do look at, guys, is if you dislike my video, uh, there's a reason why. Um, this video, the Nike AD NXT, got a little bit of attention the first couple of days. Um, got a couple comments. Um all good vibes one dislike on it so someone didn't like it they may just not like the shoes because it's a shoe unboxing a lot of people have big opinions on shoes so um but you know what I mean I think for me personally I think the YouTube channel is going well I definitely need to upload more often I don't think it matters how long you start you're still gonna get that you're gonna get that in the shaker cup too you're gonna get all that re leftover residue powder in the bottom but it still tastes great. Um, but yeah. Uh, the one question, I guess I'll talk to you guys. You know, the one question I've been asked many times is, do I think that I can do this uh, full time eventually? Um, you doing YouTube and the whole gaming thing is absolutely. I. It's, it's not even the fact is thinking about it. It's just doing it. You have to do it. You have to take the time out of your day, make a video, edit the video to where you think people are going to enjoy it. But not only the people, but you know that you can enjoy it too because, you know, you enjoy your own videos. That's the whole sole purpose of making a video is making sure that you enjoy it. 
because as long as you enjoy it, most likely other people are going to enjoy it as well. So, um, yeah. So, I mean, this video is going to be going up today. Uh, you know, of course, it's going to be edited and whatnot. Um, finally hit 1K on the Vizio soundbar unboxing. So, that's actually crazy because in that video, I was like, hey, if we can hit like another 8 or 9K like the other Vizio um, product unboxing, that would be pretty crazy. And um, well enough, I mean... Let's see, the part one of gaming, okay, so the Vizio D, that's got 9.6K views right now, and that was last year, um, and as of a month ago, this one already has a thousand, so that's crazy. Thank you guys so much for that. Um, one thing I always do, you know, kind of uh, always ask myself is, okay, it's like, all these people watch my videos, is it people re-watching it, or... Uh, is it new people and they just don't find it satisfying they don't subscribe because uh, I get a f decent amount of views on most of my videos and um, it's surprising that people wouldn't want to you know subscribe and see more but I mean it, it's not up to me and you know of course it's up to you guys I find I find my description completely fine if people you know look at that kind of thing is you know 17 year old guy working to accomplish my goals completely true I am the owner of O Central. I am O Central. Um, I am a console player. I do vlog every so often, and I do unbox uh, and I do unbox products and uh, review them every once in a while. Uh, and then the last part, you know, come support my dream and subscribe to the channel. Of course, you can view my email address. I have links to my Instagram, my Twitter, my Google Plus account. Um, I watch a lot of higher up people who got millions and millions of subscribers and whatnot but you know those are the type of guys that motivate me to do this um because anything's possible as long as you put your mind to it you know what i mean you can literally start a channel right now talk about something and then you know before you know it one person all all, all anything has to happen is one person view it and they spread that word around Sorry, my allergies kicked up for some reason, but all I had to do is spread that word around is about that your video that you made and you posted, and boom, just like that, it got another view, and then that person, and that person, and as soon as it starts spreading, it's going to get no more known on YouTube, and other people are just going to see it by the um, what to watch next, um, and you can see that in your analytics on your channel page as well. Almost 50,000 minutes have been watched on my channel that's that's kind of crazy if you think about it that's actually really crazy um something sad to see though the average view duration is only two minutes and 38 seconds kind of wish that was a little bit higher um looking at likes between dislikes that's great 324 likes and 33 dislikes out of all my videos combined 144 shares thank you guys for sharing the videos much appreciated uh, comments are always nice got 127 of those 134 subscribers. I think our channel is doing great, guys. It's doing real well. Probably a little bit of an awkward video. I've never really done something like this as to where I kind of talk about G Fuel. I'm, I'm asking for you guys' opinion on what you guys think. Yeah, is it better started or is it better shaken? I talked to you guys about the windscreen, about my YouTube channel. Um, you know, I thought I'd just make this video. Uh, I know it's probably abnormally a little bit long, but, um, yeah, you know, why not, right? I got something to look forward to on Wednesday is hopefully when my G Fuel package gets shipped here. Might as well check my email. See, it's kind of like a get up to date with me, right? It's kind of a vlog. Someone follow me on Twitch. I don't even stream on Twitch yet. That won't be until, like, February time of next year when I actually get my PC build. Or if I can get it sooner, that'd be dope, but I'm not trying to pay for that right now. Uh, let's see. Shipment is on its way. View tracking details. Ugh, excuse me. Yep, we're still looking at Wednesday. Originally, it was supposed to come on the 11th, but for some reason, it got delayed another two days. But That's because it's coming from DHL. I don't know who DHL is. Normally, it's USPS who delivers my packages so whoever DHL is I don't like that you know I wanted to save my money because I had over $50 um, I bought my favorite flavor which is tropical rain because I literally have like one serving left and then that came with a free shaker cup 
and then I bought the new flavor, which is Rainbow Sherbet, which I'll be making a video on that, you know, taste test and review. And that one came with the same type of shaker cup because it's free. Um, so I'll be looking towards that. And you guys get to see um, on video, you know, how the tubs look if you haven't seen those already. They redid the design of their uh, G Fuel tubs, and I think they look way better than, um, like, don't get me wrong, these guys look great, but um, the new ones look really, really cool. So excited to see that in person. That's going to be pretty cool. Um, other than that, I don't really think there's anything else to really talk about. If I'm the, here, if I bring up this uh, photo booth. Okay, so now you guys can kind of like see me up here, but I haven't really messed with, so like with this, like it's good with like isolating the whiteness of my forehead because with this Logitech camera, bring it down a little bit, probably needs to get brought down a little bit more, like there. Like on the Logitech, on the Logitech webcam, I'm really, really white, and it's kind of scary. Like, I don't understand why, so if I go ahead and bring up my Logitech camera settings, so I'm gonna need this guy back here though. Let's go ahead and escape, move this. Like, if I try to work with the brightness. Okay, so like, you guys see the iPhone footage, right? Now you see the Logitech webcam footage. I'm way more white around here. Uh, of course, the audio is probably now coming from uh, this if I don't like the audio because the fan is on in the background I might just use the uh, camera from the phone uh, or the microphone from the phone but I think it's just way too white like and this doesn't look as green like on this it looks green on this no <laughs> it does not look green at all That's a little bit more green, but not only did I do I look like I am, I, I don't even know how to describe this right now. This looks terrible. Like my lips look completely red, like I got lipstick on. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and bring that back down. <laughs> That's pretty embarrassing. Contrast. Now that looks a little bit more greener, but now I'm way too white. No, I don't know what that is. Like, it looks like paste. Doesn't it look like paste? But on here, it actually looks green. Maybe I need to get a new webcam, guys. Do you think I should get a new webcam? If I do, then I will. I'll, I'll get the, uh, the 4K uh, Logitech webcam. Or, or, or... Uh, wait, get the camera that I want to get, which is the, the Canon 80D. Say whatever, I don't care. Um, use the Canon 80D and then have a video, uh, out, uh, cord that records with a camera or whatever for live streams and whatnot once I get the PC and the camera and all that stuff. So, I don't know. I've been enjoying the new Battlefield update. That's pretty fun. Um, gotta love Battlefield 1, you know. still super white like I wish I had this quality that's on the phone on that camera though like because if I go to the Logitech cameras and it may just because I'm running it a Windows product off the Mac I think that might be why it is what it is I, it's what I'm working with right now um, Heck, if I have to, I'll make a YouTube video, use my camera. Why didn't I think of that? I could have totally just did recording on this. It's a little bit more. That's probably why. Recording on this. Video of this. This going. And that little sound there determines how all the audio gets sent to make sure that it matches up with what I'm saying. And the sounds that I make but the green screen would still be in the background I can't edit it out or at least I don't think 
so. I kind of wish I knew, I'll take you guys with me, I kind of wish I knew what else to do with um, today. It's Sunday, I mean, if you go to church, great, cool, good for you. Oh, I completely forgot I have a green apple, blue ice sand, probably a couple more packs of flavors in there. Um, my closet's a mess. It's got the boards from, or the boxes from that desk. I highly recommend that you guys go check out that desk video. Um, that was a lot of fun to do. There's really nothing in here. Sorry. I was going to use, okay, so this giant black bag, it's got like, uh, stands and stuff. Um, this is if I ever left and I took this with me, I would. All my product boxes up there and it goes way back there. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's just a small collection. The amount of freaking batteries and wires that I've had to buy because these things break so easily. There's four of them up here. Uh, and I know I have like three elsewhere. So it's ridiculous. I've spent way too much on that. That's supposed to be like a one-time thing, but that never happened. I mean, the room's coming along nicely, if you ask me. Um, gotta love Crispy. If you don't know Crispy, and you obviously don't know cars. Um, yeah. I might end up actually going back to the G Fuel backpack instead of that one that I have. Hopefully you guys saw that. I don't know. Because I'm like flipping around. I don't see it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I might go back to that because the other bag can't really carry the G Fuel around um so i have to like hold it or just throw it in my bag but it's all sweaty and stuff and i don't want everything to get wet that's in my bag so it is what it is but i guess i'll make like a gaming video and then i'll you know what guys let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and make a project i'm gonna go and make a gaming video of a game but i'm going to use this as a picture in picture so it's a live feed yes you guys are going to see the background lighting or not the back of the light, but you're going to see the green screen. Um, but you're also going to get the uh, Yeti microphone, um, you know, sound quality with the video of the game and then the live cam footage. So why, why, not, why not try that? Okay. So I guess there, we just made something to do. That's another video. So maybe there's going to be two videos coming out today. This one and the one that's going to come out after this. Um, so yeah. Cool. All right, I'm down. By the time I'm done with both those videos, it'll probably be the end of the day and time to go to bed. <laughs> My shoe collection, it's, it's all right, you know. These ones, these ones have gotten a lot of attention. I'm bringing it into the light here. These guys have gotten a lot of attention. I need to wear these guys more often, to be honest with you. Um, these ones, oh my goodness, they're dirty. My Kobe 11s. Need to clean these guys up, but these haven't got a lot of attention, surprisingly. I guess the people like the Air Maxes more. And then, of course, you guys, the current ones that I'm rocking are the Kobe NXTs, AD NXTs. These are way better than the 80s, in my opinion. Um, for all the shoe fanatics out there, don't judge me. I don't even play basketball, but it's whatever. I never actually looked at it like that. Like, that's what the setup looks like from behind. That's kind of cool. It's like behind the scenes. You kind of you kind of see me poking out right here. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Cool. It gets hot though. I, I'm not gonna lie. Like that's why I always have this fan running. If that fan is annoying. I'm sorry, but I need that running because if I don't have it running, then I'm gonna be sweating. You're like, oh, you're wearing a hoodie. Take the hoodie off. It's not how it works, dude. Trust me. If you lived in my house, you would understand. But no, yeah. I mean, seriously, like probably should try to figure out a situation to where I can actually get a better AC in this room. I'm actually going to take out my socks because the socks are holding a lot of heat down there. One more year, guys. That's crazy. One more year. High school. And I'm done. D-O-N-E. Done. Done with high school. That's a fucking bet, dude. I'm excited for that. I, I'm ready to be done with high school. A lot of people say, don't rush the process. I'm going to rush the process because I really don't like it. So, 
don't forget to let me know if you guys enjoy G Fuel stirred or shooken, shooken, shaken, shaken a word? Yeah, because you're shaking it. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and make a gaming video, and yeah, I'm gonna have to set up the new, not the new, but I'm gonna have to reset up that HDMI cable, whatnot. That way, the Elgato can pick up the gaming footage. Um, yeah, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm a little crazy. Don't forget to let me know about the Jiko. Um, if there's any videos that you guys want to see, um, let me know. I'll try my best to do that. You know, no guarantees or nothing, but... Uh, you know, I don't mind trying, you know. I honestly feel like I just need more of a social life, to be honest with you. If I had a little bit more of a social life, my videos would probably be a little bit more fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do not leave without leaving a like. Any questions, comments, or concerns, you can always drop that down in the comment section below. And if you're feeling spunky, you can always hit that subscribe. Yeah. I messed it up! Damn it! Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. Any questions, comments, or concerns, you can always drop that down in the comment section below. And if you're feeling spunky, you can always hit that subscribe button. Anyways, guys, it was your boy of Central, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later, guys. Peace!